Hi everybody, we are Rusconi from Switzerland. Um, the next few minutes we'll be talking a little bit about our music, the way we work, what we want to say. And um, we've been doing music for over 10 years now together with Claudio, Fabian and me. And we have changed quite some things over the years. Um, our fifth record is going to come out soon, in March 2012. And uh, for us it's really an important step um, also reason why we named it Revolution. Usually as a band you go to a studio, you book a studio, you book a technician and you work in there for three to five days. Record, record, record. It's all a big, big stress, sometimes messed up, some, sometimes very good, but it's a very short amount of time, and in this amount of time you have to do the record of the century. This time, we thought, let's do it different. We had a chance to go to Boston for two weeks. The musical house in Boston would be really, um, had a chance to have a big uh, room where we could uh, Installate everything. So, Jonas Kunke is a technician from Boston. He brought us all the, the microphones and the computer stuff. And Claudio and Stefan are now the, I mean, they're now very good recording engineers. So we <laughs> we did we did almost everything by ourselves. Our new album is called Rusconi Revolution. The idea came because uh, we worked for almost three years together with a major label and we had a good time but we realized that in some things these major companies are just too slow so we thought maybe for us it will be better to have the possibility to re react very fast and now we try to do our own label and now we have all the things in our hands. We'd like to have a CD to sell on live concerts exclusively but in the meantime, there would be a free download of the whole material in Best Quality. We'd like to spread our music. We, 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 we want people to listen to our music. The other thing about the CD is that we did it all by ourselves. Not just, you know, musically, instrumentally, but we recorded it by ourselves. We mixed the whole CD ourselves. we never done that before actually. And we mastered the CD and even the artwork was made by, by Stefan and an artist from Berlin called Paul Polaris. After concerts when we sell CDs uh, that the audience wants to buy CDs and they think they would they would like support us the musicians but that wasn't reality not at all find a positive way for solving that problem. The problem of distributing music and gaining no money. Musically, they were they were a 
period of music where a lot of very crazy and, and, and emotional experiments happened and we are really taking this in, into our music. We've been uh, recording material in Basel, uh, at a very nice space where Fabian lives. It's, um, it's a house that combines many things. You have him living there, you have rooms that you can, you can use for, for playing music, for doing art, uh, mostly music. So we've been able to get a room for about two weeks. We put in a lot of stuff there. We rented the grand piano, we set up a big set for, for Claudio. Fabian brought all his distortion stuff. We had um, um, Hannes Kumke doing all the microphones and setting it up nicely so we just could record ourselves. So it basically was actually both. It was it was a week where we could, could work on our ideas and material in a, in a very relaxed atmosphere, so we could also go and go down there maybe two o'clock at night and just do some try out some crazy things. That's, for example, how basically the, the outline of Alice in the Sky got got uh, fixed. On the record, we have a special guest. Yes, right. So uh, it's, it's really nice to be on the song. Uh, Alice in the Sky, Fred Frith on guitar as a guest and uh, uh, every time I hear the track it really gives me some good feelings because it's, it's really it's, it's outstanding. It was really nice to, to see him also how, how he does it and how he works. It's a really nice, really nice version of it. still do is, is a lot with uh, preparation and we still looking for new sounds. Um, Stefan is still working with some different stuff in the piano. Also, for my part, I try to find some new sounds on the bass with distortion and feedback in more than um, one year ago. We try to, to do some noise also. And, Keep always, I think, a little bit groove. I think groove is very important for us, Mr. Bagby. Uh, no, we, we have a lot. We have a lot of Bagby, but, but not always. Um, expression improvised pop is well chosen because uh, in our music you always find spots and you have the space to play what you feel immediately so you really can improvise in it but still there's the structure of a song most of the time actually kind of a basic simple structure and that's what covers like the pop aspect of it and it's pop as, as in popular music it's music for the people it's, it's music for not for everyone but it's we, we like to to play our improvised music in front of a nice audience so that's why I think 
when people want to describe it, improvised pop fits it quite well. Two or three years we felt that many things are not the way we wanted, like around ourselves. We, we felt that the way sometimes our music got promoted or the way we couldn't, we really like it to be, to be free to, to decide what we want to do. So with a big record company you're not as free as you do it all yourself. I mean, I mean you, you can play a concert with a with a radio broadcast live just like this you have lots of contracts that need to be signed we also did music for a beautiful documentary in Switzerland and um, it was a big thing to to sort it out to, to sort out the contracts we have been banned on YouTube with some great material we actually produced put in a lot of money so yeah the situation for us was not right anymore, so we needed to change things. And we, I think that's also the active part where we took a really initiative and said, okay, we have to do it ourselves again. We have to find out, we have to found our label, we have to produce our own material, our own ideas as we wanted. So now we, we can do download for free. We can sell CDs at concerts, we want to do a beautiful vinyl record and that's why, also that's why it's called Revolution.